I've got a 1964 here. That's a Pontefract race course. The, uh, the, the, the tank at stake. I'm actually going technically for a more minor race. I've been that race before and I'm seeing videos the uh, same race twice. But it's quite a cheap ticket uh, via York uh, to Pontefract. Uh, and there's a valid, relatively valuable support race. So I think I'll go to really for that one. But also to the tank of stakes as well. So I think it's the length of time with the Pontefract. So I'm 15 if it's wrong, I'll put that up here. Uh, I did it, but it seems to keep, I keep my hand in time for maybe for a pint here. <laughs> As I guessed, I'd time for a pint after racing at Pontefract and before. But now I found out I've got a half, over a half hour gap at York Station, so maybe a pint there. And also half an hour gap at, what, about a 50 minute gap at Leeds and way back, so maybe a pint there as well. Uh, so that's, uh, I say, Pontefract. I was supposed to have a catch up on Saturday, and I'm going to see if anyone saw put on Twitter. I then had realised two days before that a cat that cat had possibly grabbed a request to BHA, I'm not sure why. I should have a meeting from eleven o'clock to one o'clock. Now I said the video was put up earlier I thought eleven o'clock start to Macat it was going to a meeting was ridiculous. What's equally ridiculous is changing my two hours of meeting time two hours before, to, to two days before the race. It's gonna wet people's plans. I had uh, the ticket to your fellow at the uh Thomas Allen Assembly Rooms Theatre in, in <coughs> Durham at 7.30. So, but because, of course, I said I was going to get there because the meeting at 25 is ending just before 2. And then I said in previous videos, uh, public transfer, uh, buses out of Catterick, there's no train station there. A uh, bus out of Catterick, Darlington, oh, I'd be hopeless, frankly, after about that time. There's only option really to go walk to quite a to Colburn, uh, bus to there to Darlington <coughs> after May mid afternoon. But, but even that to Colburn version didn't work. As I had to, as I wouldn't get there for half seven, and so I yeah, and kind of did actually give me a refund. I had a bit of a complaint, I think justifiably, saying what's going on here, please refund my ticket. So mentioned helpful, but I did refund my ticket. To be fair, the whole thing was a bit ridiculous. Uh, don't cost them a twenty fifth, possibly to do cost the twenty fifth. I'm. Oh, sorry, that's the first of obviously of November for that twenty fifth of October for Doncaster. Uh, I've got possibly I might something doing instead of fighting fifth. I'm not sure yet. Seventh uh, of uh, December for Sandown. I'd hoped to get to Lingfield, I don't know, Windsor rather, for we starting of jumps fighting in there. Uh, I think it's but it's on a Sunday, and there's just no way I can get down in time. Uh, on the train, I don't fancy having that coach who plans the day before, and it's just not working. I don't want some sleep. And so that won't work out. It's a bit annoying, but anyway, but there's not much to do anymore. The meeting on Sunday, it's it's the born with issues. You, I guess what they're going to have, or people are going to get there who don't live that near to race course. Uh, I don't know yet. There's a possibility of a might to Doncaster. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Though I've not got other plans now. 14th of December. There's a new meat listed races come in. Uh, no, I was just checking from BHA about races, and we have the new mayor's listed races come in. That day. However, all the uh, plans, there's nothing absolutely like I can't do, so I'm not sure. I think about that one, but I do have other things I could be doing. Uh, something, I mean, something I bought, which is costly for me, will send back a few, only a few, literally a few quid. I didn't do it, but there were possibilities afterwards as, uh, uh, doing the afternoon as well, so I might or might not do that meeting. I'm not sure if there's anything else. I booked maybe one or two things, so Hollyhall is a possibility, but I'm really. I have looked at it, I know what's on that, because the train costs may increase, but I minute mean, I think that's it. So hovering on Pontefract Castle, actually, uh, two changes in my schedule. Firstly, um, uh, some wildlife had an unfortunate meeting with Lumo train, I suspecting fatal. Uh, I wasn't on that train, as on the NER train, but a few to, I was just leaving out of Newcastle, going south later on. But uh, well, there's a number of trains that just held up behind the Lumo train. It ended up actually past it eventually, still stuck actually, just just north of Durham. I think people are obviously still on it. So going as well, what's happening to them? <laughs> that train's going to actually leave. But then I got to York 20 minutes late, so there's no chance for a pint. And coming to, to Pontefract, I decided actually, I just wandered around the castle while I'm having a pint with Carlton Pub was planning on. Uh, there could be a, a possibility of Hood Pub and there's no. Possibility uh, of both open later on. I think actually about mid afternoon, maybe hope I'm sure opened earlier than this. And um, the total miles may have changed, I'm not sure. So there's a change here, so I hope it's could probably later on, but a minute I'm just wandering on the castle before I go off to race course. During the race meeting, uh, I got increasingly awful. In fact, the fifth race 
one was a fourth. I might uh, I have one of my horses, a uh, battle horse in each race. I've actually beaten two horses, so it's actually an improvement for the rest of the, the meeting. What I will show you is this if I can show it. may not do it very well. I should be able to see the station of Tansville. Uh, of Tansville. I get to the top, and there's no information which size which. I have to get down to the bottom to see even the display board that you can actually see it in the in the in the uh, co- uh, uh, or cover sort of area, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm sitting there, but you supposed to guess which size which. I'm looking, I went down, I'm not, I'm not, because I was in a hurry. And I nice surprised to open up a nice dark beer, I like my dark beer, so I didn't know it was dark beer when I bought it, but it's one I hadn't had before, and it would be a darker beer. So, nice enough pint, but really, it's, you should have to guess in a station which size which. It's pretty it's pretty poor, frankly. All I need to say is one size to these one isn't. I'd guess it was probably going to be this side. I expect it goes to uh, Monk Hill after Tan Shelf and then along, it, which it does clearly. And I think it's going to be Monk Hill, but sure, obviously, it must have got to Tan, goes to Tan Shelf after even Monk Hill when I got on today. But anyway, that's. Uh, not a great a day in terms of, and it was not many betting, but it was absolutely hope, one of the worst ever in terms of position of the horses. It was absolutely atrocious, frankly. So I've got Doncaster next. So tell me at least for a pint in a pub, I forgot my name of, something or other. I've completely what my name of, so look, i to check it, double check it. I said I didn't bother early on having a pint because I say Cass was nice enough. I got to look quite quickly as a sort of derelict in a, in a way, and there's one of these issues about. So, Talk about Castle the Newcastle Castle. We had to castle there. Some really interesting talks recently, and I got to which castle it was. It was called the most castly castle in England, as in uh, <coughs> it's not really a proper castle. Like the one that I can't pronounce in Germany, Mount King Ludwig. Like in nineteenth century. Uh, built as just German castle, uh, and actually, the interesting Newcastle Castle was in what well, in the 19th century, and was apparently with certain sure antiquities Newcastle upon Town still about now, and still a member of it. Uh, sort of partly rescued it because then we're actually trained into the middle, and now there's a keep and the black gate, nothing in between. As there's been always controversy since then, was that a right decision? To be honest, the castle was really derelict. Oddly enough, the castle area was not part of Newcastle. It was actually part of Northumberland until we took them in 1974. Uh, the Thumbland County Council met in the castle, uh, so in the moot hall in Newcastle, despite the fact that actually that part that wasn't in West Newcastle wasn't part of Northumberland, only that to a very small area was. And but what interesting what I did in the nineteenth century was I added ramparts a ramp area to a castle to make it more a new castle castle making it look more like a castle. It wasn't there beforehand. So yeah. But that's it, so that's the donks the twenty fifth, possibly whether be, I'm not sure on the first year or after whatever it is, whatever Saturday it is. And then uh sand out and sand on same thing on something else, but I'm not sure what it might be. That's one thing I didn't mention actually during the meeting and I just remember about it now in the, in the flat. I did, I've mentioned a few videos previously. I was going to go to Catterick on Saturday. I didn't even do so. This is a rather ridiculous reason why. I'd already mentioned recently about premiorisation and why that's basically meant the Catterick meeting starting at 11 o'clock, ending just before 2 o'clock. And in fact, that, <clears throat> I said that was ridiculous. I had an 8.40 train out of Darlington, uh, Newcastle to Darlington. I could have meant a later train, but uh, well, some of his trains are, are basically slightly unreliable at a minute. I'm not getting a new one I need to get just in case, you know, I need to get a later one because one's cancelled. Uh, so like a bus, uh, I think, uh, which, to Richmond and then Richmond to Catwick Bridge and then Catwick Bridge somehow back in. I get a possibly, I think I'm going to get a pint possibly just north in Brompton on Swale, which uh, is just north of uh, Catwick Bridge and then go home. And then I was, well, go home. I was go back to, and I think I mentioned that, uh, uh, very enjoyable actually. Actually, what I thought it was enjoyable, very effective, actually. I enjoyed the debate of what you say about Othello. I said I'm a major Shakespeare fan. And in the uh, Thomas Allen Theatre in Durham, uh, that's the Begala Theatre. The Begala Theatre is larger theatre. Thomas Allen Theatre is a bit of a smaller theatre. never been to before. A very, very effective uh, performance of Othello. Very, Iago was played really well. Not we all played well. But I think in Othello, Iago, you need a good actor to play that. And I told him. Put off really well. Problem was then, two days before the meeting at Catherine, I got an email from them saying we talked to BHA because I'm using Abbott being abandoned. We're going to bring the meeting back two hours from now 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and that made a real problem for me. 
And if you're the only person, not the only person on Twitter to say that basically this is what happens with people with plans. And I did. And it's a, I said to complete git, basically, to get from Castle Bridge after uh, mid-afternoon, a bus, basically, back towards Darlington. It's just, it almost don't exist. It's a really hard, it's quite hard work. The only really sensible way to do it is a 40, 25 to 40 minute walk a uh, bridge across the of VA1 into Colburn, and then a bus from there, and much more regular. I mean, I've actually wanted to think of even meeting a cast because I've even got back that way. The problem is, though, that all of this took was going to take me too long to get back home. Well, at least to Dome. I wasn't going to have to go home. I mean, sorry, to get to Dome for, 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 for a fellow. And I worked out that it went to Friday, I got there seven minutes before, probably just about most circa seven minutes to the actual. Uh, via a uh, bus train to Durham and walking to from the station down to a uh, theatre, I would have got about seven minutes in advance. In fact, I may not have done, because I actually missed where the visit was, so I may not have got there at all. And Saturday, I would actually missed the start of it. It wouldn't have got past seven. In fact, even if I had been weekday, 7.23, seven minutes out, I, did what I, did, I would have done what I did. I didn't even have to it, but rather grumpily, frankly, but justifiably so, I say, please can you give me a refund? Because, you know, I now have plans, I cannot do uh, you know, in Durham, and I can't get to them. And they did give me a refund, to be fair, I'm not trying to fix too much way fair, it's nothing I can do about that. They did give me a refund, well, they said they have, and I assume they have done, I don't think, you know, I haven't checked, but I'm sure they, ha- they have done. But it's all very, very annoying. I have already mentioned, by the way, in an earlier video, in a uh, Beverly video, and I can't remember put this out, I don't think I've even put this on the internet yet, Beverly one, and first I'm lucky for, for Warwick, I forgot my 12th of December, the last two years I've been, as I said in that video, I've tried to get to this, like a diver waste, lifted waste of Warwick, and the last two years because it's on the day, so hopefully this time that will work, but that is it for today.